Hello all. Today let's begin the most basic bot creation using automation anywhere A360. So we have multiple options to do that. As we come here, we see in the left as we log in here, we have an option called as automation in the left left pane. Clicking on that, we get different options. I have created a folder called YouTube. In here, I'm going to create a lot of other uh, <clears throat> bots so we have an option here called as create a bot we also have an option here create new and that bot so there are different other options like form and process which is also present here create form create process we'll go one by one so today so today let's create a bot we'll click here i have to give a name say message so i'll start with one underscore message you can give any meaningful description this is the location where it is present let us click on create a new create an edit sorry so uh, now we have come to the edit page in the left pane we have different actions that is present these are the different variables click on show so these are the different variables these are the different actions that we can use to create the bot and these are the triggers so we'll go one by one again later as in when we progress so <clears throat> now we're going to do message box either we can scroll down here in the left pane till we get the message box expand this drag and drop or we can directly search your message box and do the same so let's delete this and show delete and i say message i directly get the message box and now here on the right side uh, when the message box pops up this will be the name so we can just keep it as it is or we can change as we want so I'll say first bot so that we can understand how it comes up display the message message from first bot okay I'll click on save okay if you have any errors then it will be showing up in the assistant now let us click on run you can see the bot is running the progress here we see message from first bot and here is the first bot so the information that we provide here the first bot comes up here as the title of the window message from the first bot is a message that we're going to type in here so <clears throat> So happens that we have to gather information from different sources and then uh, put it up in the message box so that is why we have to use this we can use not just a static messages like this but also variables i'll show you that as well close here we can see that we have to manually click on close to close and the bot will complete saying your bot has run successfully we have to click on close we have another option called as close message after this is five seconds so I click on run I don't have to click on save and run if I click on run it will automatically save and then run so it started deploying at the computer and then you can see another pop-up coming up in the right bottom corner of the screen there we go message from the first bot the window will automatically close in five seconds that the message comes and the countdown starts that's it now let us show one more thing let us hit an enter and then to invoke variables we have to call see we have to initiate some variables here or we can initiate by clicking dollar sign directly let us explore some variables that we are having we're having cp usage date day hour so let us say um cpu usage put a colon and then cpu usage is cp usage so to invoke it we have to use dollar cpu usage comes up that's a number but we cannot just keep it as it is we have to convert that into string so simple way to do is that before the last dollar we have to press or press a, uh, enter a dot and then number to string so this is it and then enter now let us see some other options say for example um, voice name 
OS name a dollar OS and OS name comes up where it says string so we don't have to do anything Let's click on run only if there is a, a <coughs> variable that is other than the string format we have to convert it my bot execution has begun this is my message from first bot he said it's a 54 and windows 10 64 bit so that's it and the window automatically closes so we have to close this okay thank you